Uh, Jonathan, today they celebrated 100 years of baseball at Fenway Park. What's your fondest, your fondest memory of, of playing there? Well, I'd have to say, you know, for me, probably uh, coming out of the bullpen every night that I did. Uh, you know, just the adrenaline, the intensity of the ballpark when, when I came in the game is something that I'll always remember. Just, just what is it the the energy of where you were at and the history yeah. and what it meant to to you and, and to the, all the fans over there? Yeah, no doubt. You know, um, just you know the simple fact of when I came into the ball game, what what it meant, and what it stood for, and some always take with me. There are certain players that absolutely love playing at Fenway Park, and, and there are some that are done. Did you did you embrace really all your time there and even no, yeah, all the I, attention I that it came with? Yeah, I did. I, I loved it. And, um, it's definitely a special place, and it will go down in history as a special place. And um, you know, I feel uh, like it was a place where I learned how to play Major League Baseball in that stadium. And um, you know, you, you'll you'll take those lasting memories with you for a lifetime. They have that behind. They have that behind the scenes. I mean, you you get a chance, and you play, in, you see some state of the art facilities and ballparks. Is there is there is there still a charm to it even even after all this time and all the time you spent there? Yeah, well, I think there. <laughs> I think there's a certain charm to it, but there's also a, a certain, uh, I mean, you, know, you got to deal with a lot of rats. And, right. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, it, it really does, in certain aspects, show its age, uh, Fenway Park. And I think, um, you know, um, for me, it, it was kind of funny seeing some of the older, older parts of it. And I went from, you know, the, one of the oldest ballparks to one of the newer ballparks here at Citizen Bank, so um, two drastic changes. So I have to ask you about, about that then. I, when I think about the, the best fan bases in baseball, two come to mind. One's Boston, one's Philadelphia. Are they are they more similar than they are different? Um, I'd say they definitely are more similar. Um, it's two different types of, of fans. It's two different types of leagues. Um, you know, these are National League fans versus American League fans, which um, I said before that I think that the National League fans know the game a little bit different, the game's played a little bit different, right. so you have to pay attention a lot more. And, um, you know, the, the, the fans in Boston, um, they, they're just crazy every night. Every night's game seven. Yeah. All right, last thing I'll ask Ben is how are you enjoying the, the pace of the game of the National League? The game that stands out <laughs> to me so far would be the one nothing game. You guys, 11 innings with the Giants. It's 227. That would be the yeah. third inning in Boston, New York. Yeah, I tell you what, in Boston, I used to take naps before I go to the bullpen. Here, I have zero time to take a nap. So uh, I'm definitely enjoying the fact that the games are a lot quicker here. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Uh, there are a lot of moments, obviously, but a lot of moments that people talk about. And I think that uh, me going back to uh, receive my ring yeah. um, in 2005 was very special. Um, but obviously in the ALCS, you know, game four, you know, my moment as far as, you know, having an opportunity to steal a base um, and scoring that tie and run. And that was a great moment for me, obviously. Um, but you know what? There, there's a lot of great moments. Um, when I went back as a giant mm -hmm. in 2007 with Barry Bonds and to be received by the Fenway faithful like that, uh, that was very special to me. And it was like a, seemed like a five minute standing ovation um, before my first at bat. But I have a lot of uh, great memories uh, with the Red Sox. How about when you went back though and you got your World, when you got your World Series ring? I think you were with the Padres that, that year. Uh, that that year, year I was with the Padres. That okay. was in 2005. Okay. And uh, you know, I got asked to go back uh, this time, but you know, me being uh, obviously an active member of the staff, you know, I wanted to be here. This is where I belong. Uh, but in that situation, I was with the Padres, but started the uh, season the first seven days on the disabled list. So that's why uh, Boach and uh, um, KT gave me an opportunity to go back and to get my ring then. And that was, like I said, was very special. What's the, what was the best thing for you at playing with the Red Sox, playing in Boston, and playing at Fenway Park? Well, I think that it, it's one of those things that, you know, it's so storied, the franchise, and uh, there's so much history, and, you know, everyone kind of, when you go in there as a visiting player, says, God, everyone's got to be a Red Sox, you know, for a year and get an opportunity to play for the Red Sox. And, you know, when you do, and to see how fans embrace you, um, and when you put that uniform on and just know kind of uh, who was in the clubhouse and you know, the guys that played for the Sox, it's special, and it's, it's, it's very generational. So a lot of people, um, you know, not only East Coast, West Coast, can kind of relate and have some type of tie to the Red Sox, it seems like. So uh, it was special, the whole experience.